Hey everyone, welcome to PDQ's Patch Tuesday Recap. Uh, this one's for September 2024, or as I like to call it, the Pumpkin Spice Edition. We are just about into fall, and to celebrate, I have already watched You've Got Mail. Also, if you go to our written blog about the Patch Tuesday Recap, I've kind of written you guys, I mean a masterpiece, I would say, a nice little song, Keep Your Spirits High. But we'll dive right into the patches here, because I don't want to take up too much of your time. This month, we're kind of on par. Uh, for exploits and stuff being patched. We've got total exploits patch 79, critical seven, lower than last month, still not great. Already known or exploited, we've got four. You know, that's not great either. But the updates themselves, uh, kind of boring, except for probably this first one. This is our juiciest one. This is going to be CVE 2024-43419. Now this one is interesting because from my understanding from the Microsoft Security Update Guide, this is some updates that got rolled back. So previous vulnerabilities were now vulnerable again. Uh, now this was coming from a period of time from March this year to August. So those vulnerabilities were just open to everybody. But the saving grace on this is that it only affects Windows 10 1507, which if I remember right, was reached end of life in 2017. However, it also affects uh, Windows 10 2015 LTSB, which, you know, there's quite a few people that still use that, especially like education, stuff like that, where they don't want to always adopt new operating systems. And the LTSB branch on this, uh, that actually has extended support until 2025. So this does impact those people. Regardless, uh, this one's a bad one because since these are like old vulnerabilities that were now vulnerable again, the information is out there, publicly known, available to exploit, some of them being easier than others. Anyways, if you are running those systems in your environment, this is what I would tackle first. Moving on, I just got to give a shout out to all my SharePoint sysadmins out there. You've got another one this month. Shocker, I know. Uh, anyways, if you are running a SharePoint server, there's a new vulnerability out there that would lead to a remote code execution. So, you know, at least not an elevation of privileges to site owner or something this time. So, you know, they're changing it up a little bit, but... I mean, SharePoint is just, it's every month at this point. Uh, what can I say? Throw that thing on auto update or just as soon as an update's there, just click that button, keep that thing patched because gosh, there's a lot of holes in it. Last, we're gonna tackle CVE 2024-38217. Now this is going to be our lowest ranked for the, for the month. It is exciting because you know, it involves users. So this exploit would allow a threat actor to host a malicious file on their site that which could bypass the mark of the web feature. So it wouldn't be properly identified as a malicious uh, download. We have a lot of features out there that Microsoft puts out and our security products put out that kind of protect users from themselves. Well, this one would let them bypass that. Unless you trust your users, I would get on this one as soon as possible. Anyways, if you stop to read the blog here, you'll see the outro that we've got. I, uh, I gotta say it's pretty awesome. Anyways, if you need help patching, PDQ Connect can patch all of your devices, can automate the whole process. I mean, every patch Tuesday becomes like every other Tuesday. And if you need help with your vulnerabilities, kind of like sorting those things, identifying them, remediating them, taking action on them, that's where you're going to want to look at PDQ Detect. We'll have links down in the description below. So if you want to go trial those, definitely feel free. No risk there except to fall in love with the products. If you want to join us on our Discord server, definitely head us up over there. We've got tons of sysadmins over there always talking about security updates, PowerShell, products. I mean, all sorts of cool sysadmin talk. For PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching. Body ya. Say, do you remember? Body ya. Patching in September. Body ya. Goodbye to those zero days.